Welcome to VN Production. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Inquision CCTV camera uh, which keeps uh, going offline after two years of use. I've been facing this uh, issue uh, frequently. Every time the power goes off and comes back, my camera shows offline on my mobile. Now I will show you the step-by-step -step guide uh, to fix this problem. Uh, don't skip this video. Let me check the internet connection uh, before if this network connection is okay. The first thing to do is uh, check the network connection and ensure that the battery inside the DVR is working. The DVR battery maintains the real-time BIOS settings and retains important system configurations such as firmware parameters. Uh, since my DVR is almost uh, two years old, I have decided to uh, replace the battery. If your DVR is around one year old, you may also need to change the battery as soon as possible. So this is the battery. Uh, let me change the uh, battery. You can find this battery at uh, any electronic shop easily. Uh, you can take the old one and I bought the new battery, uh, so let me replace the battery and check if it works. It's uh, very easy, uh, there is no screw or nothing, it is just an, you need to just press it and then it starts. So now let me power the DVR and check the issue is resolved. Additionally we need to modify some uh, network settings. Uh, see the network light. see the network light comes on so let's go on the system uh, if you uh, you can skip the video uh, you can go directly to the settings uh, so I'll go to my desktop settings which is connected uh, so the, all the networks is connected so this is my desktop, uh, here I can see all the four cameras are working. So now you can go to the settings and the network connection. Click on network connection. Uncheck the DHCP because it assists a different network every time the power goes off and comes back on. So you uncheck this and you can uh, put that preference uh, DNA server 8.8.8.8 uh, 4 times 8 and uh, on the bottom you can see the alternate DNS server which you can put 4.2.2.2 and uh, click on apply. So once you go on apply, just click on platform access and check the status if it shows offline. 
this is the status offline so you need to click on and uh, click on this click ok and uh, within a few seconds uh, your device uh, should show online click apply so now it is online after this also after four days or five days uh, the same problem uh, occur and uh, then I called the call center if your device uh, is still offline uh, you may need a firmware uh, update I contact the uh, Inquision computer support system they advise me to send me the mail uh, requesting the latest uh, firmware update so they told me to uh, mail the customer support team I have given the email address as well as the others I mentioned the device model number and the serial number in the mail uh, they will send the latest firmware after two days uh, so I have received this uh, firmware and uh, I have tried to please do not update online uh, you need the firmware which I sent by the call center or the ink region uh, this so here I have connected to USB and I have copied the firmware uh, the latest firmware into the USB and I have connected it to the DVR and the system the operating is invalid for this folders okay so once you click on the this and then you need to uh, click apply I mean to say uh, system will reboot again so it's very easy and if this video helped you uh, please uh, like and subscribe and comment I have also mentioned the customer care uh, phone numbers and the email address in the description uh, if you need further assistance with this firmware uh, updates uh, please contact the call centers uh, thank you uh, for watching and now you can see uh, uh, this is working on the system which is connected to the DVR but let me check on the mobile whether it is shows online or offline now you can see it is online Thank you guys, please do comment if your problems also solved.